the Fame Story TV family and welcome back to our channel. In the last 24 hours, we have received the sad news of the passing of the extraordinary talents and today's episodes is dedicated to honoring their memory. But today we bring you updates on the unfortunate events surrounding George Clooney. Before we start, I kindly ask for your support. If this video or the legacies of these remarkable individuals have touched your heart, please consider giving this video a thumbs up as a sign of respect and remembrance. Thank you. Delane Easton was born on August 20th, 1947 in United States. Easton was an American politician and educator from California. A professor by education, she was the first woman to be elected California State Superintendent of Public Instruction. Since the office was first held in January 1851. Easton represented parts of Alameda County and Santa Clara County in the California State Assembly between 1986 and 1994. She was a member of the Democratic Party. Easton's leadership garnered the Rookie of the Year acknowledgement from the California Journal, a nonpartisan analytical journal that reported on the state legislature. Easton served four terms in the state assembly, representing parts of Alameda and Santa Clara counties. She wrote legislation to enhance school safety and increase parent involvement. Easton died at the age of 76, and she died from stroke. Tribute to the Star Florian Chmielewski was born on February 10, 1927, in United States. Chmielewski was an American musician and politician. He played as an accordion player with the Chmielewski Family Funtime Band, performing polka music throughout the Midwest. Chmielewski was elected to the Senate in 1970, becoming chair of the Employment Committee in 1981. During a special session in 1987, Chmielewski was elected to serve as president due to the absence of state senator Jerome Hughes, who both preceded and succeeded Chmielewski in the position. In 1996, Chmielewski was placed on probation after pleading guilty to a gross misdemeanor for providing family members state long-distance access codes, allowing them to make phone calls at state expense. Chmielewski died at the age of 97, and he died from short illness. Tribute to the Star Terry Carter was born on December 16, 1928, in United States. Carter was an American actor and filmmaker. Known for his roles as Joe Broadhurst on the TV series McCloud and as Colonel Ty on the original Battlestar Galactica. Carter gained theater experience in several productions on the Broadway and off-Broadway stage. His Broadway credits include playing the male lead opposite Eartha Kitt in the play Mrs. Patterson and performing the title role in the musical Extravaganza Quamina. Carter also acted in numerous television series, specials, and theatrical films. Carter was a regular cast member of The Phil Silvers Show, appearing as Peffet Sugi Sugarman in 91 episodes between 1955 and in 1959. Carter played boxer Rosie Palmer in a 1964 episode of the ABC drama Breaking Point. In 1975, Carter started a small Los Angeles corporation, Metaphor Productions, for which he produced and directed industrial and educational presentations on film and videotape for the federal government. Carter died at the age of 95 and he died naturally. Tribute to the Star Mike Pinder was born on 27 December 1941 in United Kingdom. Pinder was an English rock musician. 
He was a founding member and the original keyboard player of the rock group, The Moody Blues. He left the group following the recording of the band's ninth album, Octave, in 1978. Pinder was renowned for his technological contributions to rock music, most notably in the development and emergence of the Mellotron in 1960s rock music. In 2018, he was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as a member of the Moody Blues. He was the last surviving of the group's original five members. In April 2018, Pinder was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as a member of the Moody Blues, but he was the only one among the five on stage not giving an acceptance speech. Pinder died at the age of 82, and he died from dementia. Tribute to the Star Donald Milford Payne was born on December 17, 1958, in the United States. Payne was an American politician who was the U.S. representative for New Jersey's 10th Congressional District from 2012 until his death in 2024. A member of the Democratic Party, Payne served as president of the Newark City Council from 2010 to 2012. Payne worked for the New Jersey Highway Authority from 1991 until he joined the Essex County Educational Services Commission in 1996, where he worked as the supervisor of student transportation. In 2010, Payne was re-elected to the Municipal Council of Newark with 19% of the vote, serving from July 1, 2006 to November 6, 2012. Other candidates elected were Mildred C. Crump, Luis Quintana, and Carlos Gonzalez. As a city councilman, Payne supported Planned Parenthood, stem cell research, Medicaid, and education funding. Payne died at the age of 65, and he died from complication of diabetes. Tribute to the Star. Sue Johnson was born on 19 December 1947 in United Kingdom. Johnson was a British clinical psychologist, couples therapist and author who lived and worked in Canada. She is known for her work in the field of psychology on bonding, attachment, and adult romantic relationships. She held the title of Emeritus Professor in the Department of Psychology at the University of Ottawa. With Les Greenberg, she developed emotionally focused couples and family therapy, a psychotherapeutic approach for couples based on attachment theory. She founded the International Center for Excellence in Emotionally Focused Therapy, which offers training in EFT to mental health professionals. In 2016, Johnson was named Family Psychologist of the Year by the American Psychological Association's Society for Couple and Family Psychology. In 2017, she was appointed a member of the Order of Canada. Johnson died at the age of 76, and she died from cancer. Tribute to the Star. Bob Cole was born on June 24, 1933, in Canada. Cole was a Canadian sports television announcer who worked for CBC and Sportsnet and Competitive Curler. He was known primarily for his work on Hockey Night in Canada. Cole's work during CBC's broadcasts of the Olympic Games have also become memorable among legends of Canadians. His call on the final shot of the shootout in the semi-final game of the 1998 Winter Olympics at Nagano between Canada and the Czech Republic represented Canada's then ongoing failure at the games and haunted fans for the next four years. At the gold medal game of the 2002 Winter Olympics in Salt Lake City between Canada and the United States, Cole's animated call of Joe Sakic's second goal of the game is also one of his more memorable moments. 
In 2007, Cole captured his first Gemini Award in the area of sports play-by-play. -play. Cole was honored in the Hockey Hall of Fame in 1996 as the recipient of the Foster Hewitt Memorial Award for Broadcasting Excellence. Cole died at the age of 90, and he died naturally. Tribute to the Star Terry Hill was born on 22nd January 1972 in Australia. Hill was an Australian professional rugby league footballer who played as a centre in the 1990s and 2000s. He played in the NRL for the South Sydney Rabbitohs, Eastern Suburbs, Western Suburbs Magpies, Manly Warringah, Sea Eagles and the West's Tigers, as well as representative football for New South Wales and Australia. He was also well known for his promotional television work with Lowe's Menswear. Hill was called out of retirement in 2006 to play rugby union for the Central Coast Waves. He suffered a knee injury during the grand final of the NCU or Country Caldwell Cup and was unable to take any part in the Waves 2006 Shoot Shield campaign. Hill died at the age of 52 and he died from heart attack. Tribute to the Star George Clooney has revealed that he had to spend multiple days in the hospital after losing 25 pounds for his latest role in the movie, The Midnight Sky. I think I was trying too hard to lose the weight quickly and probably wasn't taking care of myself. The Oscar-winning actor was quoted as saying by Daily Mirror, The actor plays a cancer-ridden scientist in the movie, which he also directed. Clooney was reportedly rushed to the hospital four days before the shooting for the film was due to begin and was diagnosed with pancreatitis caused by the inflammation of the pancreas. Clooney, however, was released from the hospital in a few days. It took a few weeks to get better, and as a director, it's not so easy because you need energy, he was further quoted as saying. So, despite what you might have seen on YouTube, George Clooney is alive and healthy. There have been all these videos floating around saying he's passed away. They're just not true. George Clooney is a legend and nothing can take away from his talent and presence in the industry. Thank you for joining us on episode of Fame Story TV, where we remember and pay tribute to the lives and stories of remarkable people who have left us today. If this video touched your heart, please consider honoring their memory by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. See you in the next episode.